monthly salary of Dex is one fourth of his father's monthly salary. So if father's salary is 100 percentage, Dex salary becomes one fourth, which is equal to 25 percentage. Dex sister's monthly salary is two fifth of their father's monthly salary. Two fifth in the sense 40 percentage, 40 percent of 100 is equal to 40 percentage. So Dex, Dex sister, Dex father. Dex sister pays 12,800 which is equal to one fourth of her monthly salary as study loan. One fourth of her salary is equal to 10 percentage. One fourth of 40 percentage. And this value is equal to 12,800. Now, the savings and expenses made out of the monthly salary by Dex is in the respective ratio 3 is to 5. How much does Dex save each month? Dex savings are three parts. First of all, answer should be three multiple. First option is three multiple. Second is not three multiple. Four, third is three multiple. Fourth is not three multiple. Fifth is not three multiple. So answer can be either first option or third option. Now we need to calculate three parts out of eight parts. Total monthly salary of Dex is 25 percentage. If 10 percentage is equal to this much, 25 percentage is equal to 25 into 1 percent. From this 1% is equal to 1280. Now we need to calculate 3 eighth of this. 3 eighth of this value. So into 3 by 8. 8 160 times. 8 160 times. 25 16 times is equal to 400. 400 into 0. 4000. 4000 into 3. That is equal to 12000. Answer third option. 16,000 was invested for three years, partly in scheme A at the rate of 5% per annum simple interest and partly in scheme B at the rate of 8% simple interest per annum. Total interest received at the end was 3,480. How much uh, sum of money was invested in scheme A? Now, for three years interest, we are getting it as 3,480. Both are simple interest. So, per year interest is equal to divided by 3. That is equal to 1160. Now, if the total money is invested in scheme A, where we will be getting 5%, 5 percentage, 5 percentage is equal to 800. We are going for allegation concept. And if total is invested in scheme B, we are getting 8%. 1% is 160. 8% is 1280. Now, ratio is allegation difference of these two numbers that is 120 difference of these two numbers that is equal to 360 so both are in the ratio 1 is to 3 so one part and then three parts total four parts four parts is equal to 16,000 investment in scheme A is one part that is equal to 4,000 four parts is 16,000 one part is 4,000 that is equal to 4,000 in a 140 liters of mixture of milk and water, the percentage of water is only 30 percentage. So milk and water we have out of 140 liter, 30 percentage that is equal to 42 liters and the remaining 98 liters is milk. Milk and water 140 liters. 20 liters of this mixture is taken out. Even in 20 liters also water should be 30 percentage that is 6 liters. Then remaining 14 liters is milk quantity. So remaining milk quantity is 84 and water quantity is 36. Now what happened? What happened next? Then he added equal quantities of pure milk and water to the remaining mixer. As a result, the respective ratio of milk and water in the mixer became 2 is to 1. So for milk, we are adding x liters that is 84 plus x and for water also we are adding x liters and now the ratio is equal to 2 is to 1. When you go for cross multiplication 2x and then x difference is equal to x 84 and then 72 difference is equal to 12. So now your question is to identify what was the quantity of milk added. Milk added is equal to 12 liters which is first option. Next A starts a business with a capital of 1500. B joins the business six months later from the start of the business and C joins the business eight months later from the start of the business. So A started with 1500, B some B rupees, C some C rupees. A is there for 12 months, B started after six months so he will be there for six months. 
she joined after eight months so he will be there for only four months now at the end of the year the respective sharing is equal to 5 is to 3 is to 3 now 15 into 12 that is equal to 180 and then double zero and this is equal to five parts if this value is equal to five parts then bc salaries uh, bc's profits are also equal to three parts 12 15 times 180 and then two zeros five parts is equal to 18000 one part is equal to divided by five that is equal to 3600 3600 then three parts is equal to three into 3600 and here also this is equal to three into 3600 now both values are equal now b value is equal to b into 6 is equal to this much 6 600 times 600 into 3 that is equal to 1800 4 900 times 9 into 3 that is equal to 2700 now the value is equal to 4500 4500 now which option is that 4500 third option answer Next, A sells an article at 20% profit to B, B sells it to C at 10% profit, C sells it to D at 116 profit. Okay, difference between the cost price of D and the cost price of A was 500. How much did B pay to A for the item? A is selling it to B at 20% profit, so B is paying 120 percentage. 120 is 3 multiple, answer should be 3 multiple. Look at how many options are there. First option is not 3 multiple. Second option is not 3 multiple, third option is not 3 multiple, fourth is also not 3 multiple. So fifth has to be your answer and that is equal to 1, 4, 4, 0. I am just going for 3 multiple. Otherwise, A purchased it for 100 percentage, sells it to B for 20 percent profit, B is paying 120 percent, B sells it to C at 10 percentage profit that is equal to 132 percentage. and C sells it to D at 116 rupees profit. So D will be paying 132 percentage plus 116. Difference of cost price of D and then A is 132 percentage plus 116 minus 100, which is equal to 32 percentage plus 116. And this is equal to 500 rupees. From this, 32 percentage is equal to 384. 120 percentage is selling uh, cost price for B. The same is selling price for A. When A sells it to B for 120 percent, B is paying 120 percentage. A is selling it for 120. Your question is cost price of B, 120. 32, 12 times, 12, 12 is 144 and then a 0. 1440, this is the answer. Otherwise, 3 multiple is the best way. The length of the rectangle is 4 meters more than the side of the square. If the side of the square is A, length is equal to A plus 4. And the breadth of the rectangle is 4 meters less than the side of the square. Breadth is equal to A minus 4. If the area of the square is 567, don't go for whether it is a perfect square or not. Doesn't matter. Your question is to identify what is the area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle into is equal to length into breadth, which is equal to a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square, that is a square, which is equal to side of the square, a square in the sense area of the square, that is equal to 567 minus 4 square, 16. So answer is 551. 5, 551, fifth option should be your answer. Fifth option. Fifth option answer. Next, 37. A boat can travel 4.2 kilometers upstream in 14 minutes. Now, in 14 minutes, if it can travel 4.2 kilometers, observe the relation 0.3 times. Speed is measured kilometer per hour, hour in the sense 60, 60.3 times is equal to 18. So, upstream speed is equal to 18 kilometer per hour. If the respective ratio of the speed of the boat in still water, m and the speed of the stream is 7 is to 1 then if m is to s is equal to 7 is to 1 then upstream speed is equal to m minus s downstream speed is equal to m plus s six parts is equal to upstream speed which we already got it as 18 kilometer per hour 
6 3 times 18, 8 3 times 24. So 24 km per hour is downstream speed. But your question is, how much time will the boat takes to cover 17.6 kilometers downstream? So time taken to cover 17.6 with the speed 24 km per hour. You'll get time in hours to convert into minutes. It has to be into 60. 176. This is 11 multiple. In denominator, you don't have 11 multiple. So your answer must be 11 multiple. Among options, 11 multiple is only one. That is 44. 44 minutes is our final answer. A bag contains five red balls, six yellow balls, and then three green balls. Total, we have 14 balls. If two balls are picked at random, we can do that in 14 C2 ways. And the probability that either both are red or both are green. Both are red in the sense five red balls are there. Out of five, we need to pick two red balls. Or both can be even. Or our condition it is plus. How many green balls are there? Three green balls are there. We can pick that in three C2 ways, which is equal to 5 into 4, 20, plus 3 into 2, 6. That is 26 by 14 C2. That is 14 into 13. 13, 2 times here, 2 by 14, which is equal to 1 by 7. 1 by 7, fifth option answer. 10 men can finish a piece of work in 15 days. 8 women can finish the same piece of work in 25 days. Only 10 women started working and few days completed certain amount of work. After that, three men joined them. The remaining work was completed by 10 women and three men together in five days. How much, after how many days, three men joined 10 women? Now, multiple ways are there. If 10 men can do it in 15 days, one man can do it in 10 into 15 days. One day work of one man is equal to this much. And eight women can do it in 25 days. One woman can do it in eight into 25. Now, 10 women already started working. They worked for already some number of days. Let's say X days. After that, 10 women and three men both are working for five more days. So 10 women worked for finally X plus five days. So X plus five days, uh, 10 days of 10 women working for X plus 5 days work is equal to this much and 3 men started and they worked for only 5 days. They worked for only 5 days. So work done by men and women together is equal to 1. Together is equal to 1. Now if you solve this, you will get answer. This is one way. The other way is if 10 men can do it in 15 days, 10 men can do it in 15 days. In our question, we have 3 men information. Three men can do it in how many days? Three. Men, men cancel. Three. Five times. Five into ten, fifty. So, three men can complete the work in fifty days. And at the same time, we have information. Eight women can do it in twenty-five days. In question, we have ten women. Ten women can do it in how many days? Eight into twenty-five, that is two hundred. Two hundred by ten, that is equal to twenty. So, 10 women can do it in 20 days. Now, let's go for LCM of 20 and 50. That is equal to 100. So, 10 women per day can complete 5 units. 3 men per day can complete 2 units. Last 5 days, both 10 men and 3 men, 10 women and 3 men both work together. Both working together can do 7 units. Like that, they work for 5 days. In 5 days, they are going to complete 35 units. Now, so 10 women initially worked and completed 65 units. How many days they worked? Per day they can complete 5 units. To complete 65 units, 65 by 5, that is equal to 13 days. So after 13 days, 3 men join. Work is completed in how many days? Initially 13 days and after 13 days they are working for 5 days. Total 18 days. If your question is about work is completed in how many days? Answer is 13 plus 5, 18. But your question is, after how many days three men join? Initially, only 10 women worked for 13 days. So answer is 13. Even if you solve this, you'll get the answer. This is also one way. Next. At present, pi is 6 years older to ray. The respective ratio between present ages of pi and mini is 3 is to 4. Pi's age and mini's age. Respective ratio is 3 is to 4. That is 3 parts and then 4 parts. And then we have ray. First case, it says, pi is 6 years older to ray. 
then rage is six years younger to pi then that will be three parts minus six and at the same time at present ray is 14 years younger to mini 14 years younger to mini that is equal to four parts minus 14 and both should be equal because these are percentages of ray now if three parts minus six is equal to four parts minus 14 then p is equal to plus 14 minus 6 which is equal to 8. Now your question is to identify race percentage. Either you substitute 8 value here or here. Anything is fine. Let's substitute in 3 parts minus 6. 8 into 3, 24 minus 6. Answer 18. You can even substitute p value here also. That is 4p minus 14. p is equal to 8. 4, 8 is 32. 32 minus 14 answer again 18 you'll get the same answer so final answer is 18 fourth option